Do you want to budget and better manage your money, but you always feel like there is not enough time, not enough time in the day, in the week, in the month to actually budget? I want to share with you how you can actually make time to budget. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Crystal, aka Krista Maximizer. I am a strategic money coach and I help moms create financial stability through proactive planning and strategic money management. And being able to budget, in my opinion, is crucial. You should always know what's coming in, what's coming out. You should always know your numbers. And if you feel like you don't have time to budget, there could be a couple of things going on. But I basically have two top tips to help you decide how you can make time to budget. So let's dig in. The main tip, the most important tip, you've got to decide that budgeting is important to you. People make time for the things they deem important. So budgeting is important to me because when I don't budget and I don't know my numbers, I get a little chaotic. Either I hoard my money or I spend it like crazy and there's no regard for anything. I don't know how much I've allocated. I don't know what I already did and didn't do. Like you may double pay a bill or forget to pay a bill. So you've got to decide that budgeting is important because the way that it manifests in my life is chaos if I do not have a budget. If you have decided within yourself that this is the year that you want to be better with your money, you also have to sit with yourself and say, hey, this is important so let me make time. We always find a way to make time for things that are important to us. So I would encourage you to sit down and you're watching this video because you obviously want to budget. Sit down and write out all the reasons why you want to budget. Why is budgeting important to you? What is it going to look like in your life with the budget? Will you be able to save more money? Will you be able to reduce your spending? Will you be able to pay off debt? Will you be able to invest in stocks? Will you be able to put your kids in karate or baseball or soccer? What does budgeting actually mean to you? And how will that manifest in your life for good? And once you see that it's very important to you, you will find a way to make time. And number two, which is just as equally important, you're gonna put it on your calendar. If you look at your calendar, there's probably a lot of stuff that you have to do for other people. Yourself is probably not on there. So while you're adding in your budget, add in self-care. So when you look up your calendar, what I would suggest is number one, you need a monthly budget date. So you want a date where you sit down and you review the last month in total and you set up the next month because you want to set up your monthly numbers. So you want to pick a time for that. It doesn't have to take long. My monthly setups usually take me 60 to 90 minutes. I have it kind of down to a science. It doesn't have to all be at once if you don't want it to, or you can block out the 90 minutes of your time, but put it on your calendar like you had a meeting with your boss because it needs to be that important to you. If getting better with your money and better managing your money is a goal of yours, you have to treat it as such. Then I also want you to carve out weekly money dates. These only need to be 15 to 20 minutes. In these weekly money dates, you're going to sit down with your monthly budget. You're going to open up your bank account and you are going to check to make sure that your bills are paid appropriately. You did all your savings transfers, that you've been spending your money appropriately. You're going to check in with your spending, review your spending, see where you are in relation to that $500 grocery budget you set for yourself. How much have you spent already and how much do you have left? You want to put this on your calendar as if it's a meeting with your boss, uh, a phone call you cannot miss because otherwise you are cheating yourself from the decision that you made. You decided that you wanted to budget. You decided that you wanted to be better for your money. One thing you can do when putting it on your calendar, if you have an iPhone, I don't know if Androids do this, I want you to also look at your screen time. My screen time tells me I spend too much time on social media. Half the time I spend on social media is for work. The other half is definitely scrolling and I can see that. So I want you to reallocate some of that idle time that you have and that's gonna be tip number three. Some of that idle time that you have can be reallocated. So if you are binge watching Netflix, it's self care. But maybe instead of watching five episodes of a show, you watch three and then you can repurpose the two episodes, which is probably like 90 minutes, for your budget is there something else that you're doing that's a mindless task that's taking you away from something that can really move the needle i looked at my screen time and i realized social media is in the way of me reaching my goals and not just budgeting a whole lot of other goals that i had in my life if i just cut back by 50 percent of the social media scrolling that i was doing 
it's not good. It's not helping me get more of what I want. My coach, Sabrina Phillips says, does this get me more of what I want? And scrolling on TikTok for two hours every night before I go to bed does not get me more of what I want. That's about 14 hours a week in bed that I'm looking at TikTok that's not for work, that's not productive. So instead of two hours, I'm going to give myself 30 minutes of TikTok scrolling because it's, it's healthy. We need the scrolling. But that other 90 minutes, I'm going to read. I'm going to journal, I'm going to plan for the day, I'm going to meditate, I'm going to pray, I'm going to cuddle with Bay. I'm going to go lay with Kinsley, I'm going to declutter a room. In 90 minutes, I could declutter a section, I could deep clean something. I just felt like that could be a better use of my time. But I want you to do the same thing with your budget. What are some things that you are doing with your time that is not the best use of it? Can you reallocate some of your lunches at work? I'm not saying every lunch, but could you take two lunch breaks a week to look at your numbers? You could do that. Take two lunch breaks, bring your budget planner to work, and really look at your numbers and plan out some things. Maybe you're planning for the next month. Maybe you're reviewing the current month. It doesn't matter. How can you reallocate your time? Do you ever have time in the car when you're not driving or a bus or a plane or a train? Can you reallocate that time? How can you reallocate the time that you're already using to implement it into budgeting and then add it to your calendar as a non-negotiable so that you can better manage your money? So those are my three tips. Number one, decide that budgeting and managing your money is important. Number two, put it on your calendar like a non-negotiable. And number three, reallocate some of that time that you are using mindlessly. Now, if you need help creating your budget, I should have said this at the beginning, you can check out my how to create a budget video. And I also have a video on how to save a thousand dollars. So you can go check out both of those videos. And if you're still like Crystal, your girl needs more help, you can definitely go and sign up for the Money Saving Academy, where I help you save up to $300 per month by budgeting, couponing, and meal planning. So if you want weekly live trainings from me, if you wanna dig into my course, if you wanna be able to ask me questions throughout the week, you wanna hop in the Money Saving Academy because I can support you on this money saving journey, on this budgeting journey, and you don't have to do it alone. So let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. I would love to hear from you. I would love to hear how you're reallocating your time, how you're putting budgeting on your schedule so that you can really make progress on those big financial goals that you set for yourself and create the financial stability that you so desire for yourself and your family. It all starts with a plan. So plan to put budgeting on your calendar, plan to make it important, and plan to reallocate any idle time that is not serving you well and getting you further away from your goals. So I wanna thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.